So in this video, what I want to do is teach you how to add links to your class or pages or your activity pages. Uh, links are real simple. You just go to your class page, go to your bulletin board, enter edit mode. And on here, you'll notice that we already have um, a link section for you um, built in. Um, and so to add a link, uh, you just click the add button. And then you give your link a title. So let's just say I'm going to put a link on here to the Calvary Day School webpage. Um, I take the URL. Now I recommend going ahead and cutting and pasting the URL from the website that you're wanting to send them to. That way you, you don't have any typos or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to go visit calvarydayschool.com. I'm going to take this and copy it using Control C or you can right click and hit copy. And then I'm going to come back over here and right click and click paste. Um, you can put a description in here. Um, this is what a description would look like. And then you can also add photos to this. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop a photo on it. Uh, again, watch the size of your photos. Uh, the photos I'm using here are kind of large, so it takes them a little bit of time to load. The smaller your photo is, the, the better that will be. Um, and then if I choose to, I can actually uh, multi-post this link. So let's say I've got multi multiple classes of the same subject, uh, multiple sections, and so I'm going to put it on both of those sections. So down here I can choose both sections. If I just want to put it on one section, I uncheck that box and it'll just go on my one section of class. In this case I'm going to go ahead and do it on both. Um, so I've got my link, I've got it set up, and I'm going to hit save. Now what that does is it puts it up here in the box. Um, I can go to preview page and see what that's going to look like. So you'll notice that my photo didn't load here. So all I'm seeing is my link and my description. So I kind of get a feel for what that, what that looks like. I can click on the link. It takes me to the website so I know my link's working. And you always want to test your links to make sure that they're working once you've got them in there. But why isn't my photo showing? So let me go back here and we can take a look at the reason for that. So on the links box, you've got a, a, a little gear here. That gear gives you the ability to set a header um, so you can change it. Um, by default, it just says links. You could change it to, let's say, class links um, or something like that. Uh, you can now there's here's where our image comes in so right now I've got it set to display just as a title so if I wanted to display as more than just the title with the image or title with the image uh, I have to choose that option so in this case I'll choose title and image I'll hit save and then I'll go back and preview that now my image is showing um, the size of the image like I said does kind of matter if it's a smaller image it's going to appear smaller so you're going to kind of have to play with your image sizes if you want to use image as part of your links but again I click on the image and it takes me to the website so I know we're all good there. Now a couple of other things that you can do within your links um, as far as like organization of links uh, you can set links to expire so down here you see how um, there is an expire field so you can set links to expire if you only want it to be there for a certain period of time you set that and then after that date it goes away. Um, some other things you can do you can add a hover photo so if you want like when you're moving your mouse over it you move your mouse to change it to a different photo um, you can get a little fancy with that and and play with that as well um, some other things that you can do is you can actually organize your links so once i have a few links let me do a little movie magic here and get a few more links what i can do is i can go in and i can organize these i click on the organize button and now I can move these around. So let's say I want Calvary Day School to be first. I want Nearpod to be next. Uh, notice that these are in a uncategorized um, area. Now I can create subcategories. So let's just say I wanted to create a subcategory of Ed. Uh, oh, let's call it Tech Tools. Now I can move, uh, let's say Nearpod down here and put it under Tech Tools. So now that I've got these organized, I can click Save and notice that I have a new um, category here and when I hit preview um, notice here that I, it comes up under new category so I've got my class links these are my uncategorized links and now down here is my uh, tech tools uh, link um, so you can play around with the, the links you can you know do a little organization and that's it that's all there is to it